I got a couple of ideas. I just bought this Dremel thingy. It's the cheapest one they had because that's just the way I roll. But I noticed this slag was shinier before I tumbled it. Now it looks good wet. But it doesn't look good anymore. I know I can spray it with something, but I'm wondering if I polish it with this little joker, if. Man, that thing is tough to get in there. So, let me get some pliers. Hold on, wait right there. I'll go quick. So, what I'm wondering is if. I put this on there. Then it came with this little rinky dink thing of polish that is impossible to open. I'll be right back. I'm not prepared for this game. All you need is a small pair of scissors to open this. Or a large pair. This is the polishing compound. I guess you just look at it because you really can't open it. I need a bigger pair of scissors just in case these don't work. The good thing about these scissors is they will fully cut a finger off. Ha! I'm in. So then you put this joker back in here, give it a little snuggy snug, then you give it a little torcaroonie, and then you put a little juice on it. It only has two modes, low and high, that's all I need. So I'm going to put a little flavor on it. I'm assuming that's the way you do it, I don't know. And I want to see if it shines this slag. Maybe I'm not using the right thing. Maybe I need to go faster. patience like I do that is not working fast enough for me maybe that's just wax but see the little shine in there all right let me get a plan here I'm gonna try it again It's hot, I know that, and it slings this dust all up in your face. But I have glasses on. <laughs> I told you you didn't believe me. Something went in my finger. All right, one more try. What I actually came out here to do, I just happened to notice this thing had polish and compound in it, so I thought I'd try it. But what I actually came out here to do was work on my football helmet. It's upside down, it's like that. There's the side. So I've got to cut these holes out. See, I've, I usually carve these things with a razor blade, but I'm trying to get a little more uh, precise. And since there's so many people that send me so many unique carvings and things they make, their art it's inspired me. I have been inspired. So I'm going to try this. But I'm going to try to do it on the super fast forward version also known as time lapse so you may see me bleed really quick
It cuts. It cuts pretty nicely. I mean, almost too easy. So what I gotta do is make a face in here. See, look at that. I just just slap it in there and do it. The problem is all your work has got to be with your left hand because this thing you got to hold still. So much easier than a uh, than doing it with a razor blade. So now I will attempt to make that into a face. Okay, I don't have uh, I'm not very good with details on the face. I can go in and uh, grind it out a little more. I kind of took off <laughs> too much chin. But anyway, that's my first one ever trying to leave the cage over the face. And like I said, I did all the yellow with a razor blade, just like this by hand, and this is so hard to cut. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, try to clean up the turtle a little bit so far it's done with a razor blade but I'm gonna try to clean it up now and uh, see how that comes out we'll see you in a minute won't we Nike makes a real good ball <laughs> so now <clears throat> I will attempt these didn't come out as good as I thought they would, just because I can't get a good face underneath there. But uh, my turtle's a little better. I did a uh, sugar glider for my son, and it actually came out pretty nice, but I did the whole thing with a razor blade. You see how hard it was to take the cover off with this. I used to do it with just that many lacerations ago. This, that's a rough looking pin, isn't it? I'm not sure what this is going to be. Just hang around a minute, let's see.
That ain't much. <laughs> How about that ugly joker? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go out in the daylight and look at him and see what he's got going on. We'll take them all outside and see what they look like. They're crude, but I'm not an artist. I'm just playing. So if you have any talent at all, you could put a nice face in that joker. I mean, let me put it this way. <clears throat> Actually, it's the same way because it's still me talking. I sat around piddling years ago and did this. And I carved a little church in the side of a mountain. Well, it turned out looking like a church. It's kind of like this guy. You don't know what he's going to turn out like because who knows. Anyway, um... I carved a little church and I carved a face, a man's face, and it came out pretty decent. And I sold those jokes on eBay for about $15 a piece. <clears throat> That's just a little cough. I'm developing a cough. I don't make these things to sell them because these are actually the first few I've made in years, but uh I don't I don't I'm not making them trying to make money. I just want to show you how to do it. How I do it. So Y'all know who you are. You got talent. Make these jokers, especially around Christmas, because it's easy to carve a Santa Claus. It's just a crappy face with a funky looking beard. We call him the Christmas clown in our family. Hope you don't find that offensive. I made somebody at work so mad years ago because I called Santa Claus the Christmas clown. Oh my gosh, I thought she was going to have a stroke right there in front of me. She said I thought it was horrible that I was teaching my children. Well, my kids would never believe me in Santa Claus. We never did that. Blah, blah, blah. That's another story. Can't talk about politics. <laughs> anyway, he's cool, isn't he? I gotta go wake up my little man. I do this stuff like at the crack of dawn before anybody wakes up, like sunrise to whatever. Sunrise to about right now. I hear the birds. Anyway, there they are. Thanks for watching my goofy videos.